Welcome back. Let us start exercise 3.1 based on the topic 1 that is circumcircle and incircle. Let us discuss these problems quickly. The first is draw the circumcircle. Now we have to draw circumcircle PC perpendicular bisector to sides of triangle PMT in which PM is 5.4, angle P is 60, angle AM is 70. Now this, ex this example was in uh, October 14 and July 15 both exams for 3 marks ok 3 marks very simple example 2 angles and 1 side is given so the side which is given PM draw as a baseline from the baseline 2 angles are there the angles were intersects that is your third point of a triangle construct triangle first and then draw 2 perpendicular bisectors of any 2 sides and so you will get the circumcircle. Second example, construct the circumcircle of triangle SIM in which SI is 6.5, angle I is 125, IM is 4.5. Very simple, first draw SI which is the baseline, then from point I draw obtuse angle that is 125 degrees angle and on that they are given IM is 4.4, take in a compass distance 4.4 mark there you will get the third point so the angle is constructed now draw two perpendicular bisectors of any two sides and you will get the center of the circle measure from any vertex take a distance to any vertices this circle will pass through all three vertices simple example construct the circumcircle of triangle KLM in which LM is 7 centimeters angle K is 60, angle M is 55 degrees. Now let us uh, draw this trial figure, okay, rough figure will draw angle KLM. So I will draw this LM and K is here. So this is my rough figure. Now your K is given as 60 degrees and M is given as 55 degrees. Now constructing this triangle is not straightforward. Why? Because once you draw the base is very easy, 7 centimeters line. You draw this line also at 55 degrees. This ray also you can draw, extend this line, that will be the ray. But these distances are not given. Correct? So how will you draw this? How will you get this point K? Simple. Addition of all the angles in the triangle is 180 degrees. So if this is 55, this is this is 60, this is 55. So can't you find the major of this angle? Very easy. Subtract these two from 180. So you will get this angle and now drawing the figure is very easy. That is why I told you to draw the basic rough figure first before starting the actual construction. Now you find out what is the major of this angle and then starting the figure then how will you draw first draw LM 7 centimeters 55 degrees whatever degree angle you will get here you draw this point of intersection will be point K okay here you have to show the calculations angle L is equal to 180 minus 60 minus 55 and so you have to write there so please pause your video here and solve first three examples complete the constructions of first three examples which is very easy and then go to the next example please pause your video and do it now example number four construct a right angle triangle PQR where PQ is six centimeters I will draw PQR right angle triangle generally we draw like this PRQ is 90 degrees. PRQ is 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90 degrees. Then they are given PQ is 6 centimeter. This is 6 centimeter. And QPR is 40 degrees. QPR is 40 degrees. How will you draw this now? Now, when you draw the final figure, it will not look like this. Generally, when 
we have been asked to draw right angle we draw we draw the right angle like this but how will you draw this figure now can you say that this is 90 degrees this is 40 that means this must be 50 degrees we have to show that now when you actually construct the figure this right angle r will go upside your figure will be something like this because first we will draw the pq line pq you will draw here then you have the two angles where uh, p is 40 and q is 50 at the point of intersection is your point r which is 90 degrees correct and to this you have to draw circumcircle now circumcircle pc draw the perpendicular bisector to any two sides and you will definitely get the circumcircle which will pass through all three vertices example number five construct the in circle of triangle rst in which rs is six centimeters st is seven centimeter and rt is 6.5 centimeters very simple three sides measurements are given you can easily draw, draw the triangle first draw base then arcs for the two sides measuring point of intersection of those arcs will be third point of your triangle now you have to draw in circle that means the angle bisector of any two angles of that triangle so you will get the center of the circle now from that center of the circle draw perpendicular to any one side that will be your radius okay actually drawing that is not very essential technically because you can just put a compass point on the O and take a distance up to that line and just draw the in circle but it is expected that you should write the radius of the circle also and radius of the circle you have to draw perpendicular there okay next construct the in circle of triangle stu in which st is 7 centimeters angle t is 120 and tu is 5 centimeter again very easy it's a obtuse angle triangle first draw base then angle and on that ray angle ray you will mark some point which is the third vertex of your triangle and then angle bisectors because you have to draw in circle angle bisectors of any two angles and then you have to drop a perpendicular to the base or to any side to find out the radius and then draw in circle example number seven Construct the in circle of DEF in which DE equal to EF equal to 5.8. Now here two sides are given equal. So this is the isosceles triangle. Okay. And angle DEF we will say that DE and EF. This is the E. We will draw the rough figure first. DE and EF these both the sides are 5.8 5.8 5 5.8 and they are given that angle def is 65 degree def is 65 degree draw de first now since here it is some vertical line that means some slanted line that doesn't mean that you should start drawing the slanted line you draw this D first as a horizontal line okay you draw D as a horizontal line then 5.8 then take this angle take one ray 65 degrees on 65 degrees mark again 5.8 so your isosceles triangle will be something like this the, your E point will come here somewhere correct so pause your video and quickly construct this in circle because once the triangle is constructed then it is very easy to draw the in circle next example construct any right angle triangle and draw the in circle of that triangle now they say that construct any right angle triangle how will you draw the right angle triangle so they said any no measurements are given so first you draw some line 
AB. Now you have to draw a right angle triangle. So now you have to draw a perpendicular to AB through point A or B. Take any distance here, C. Connect BC. But here you have to construct this perpendicular passing through A and perpendicular to line AB. You have to construct this. Don't measure by protractor. Don't measure 90 degree angle. It is not expected. Though that can be a one of the method. But here it is not expected. Here it is expected. You draw a perpendicular to line AB through point A. Don't take on the protractor 90 degrees. Okay. Next example. Example number 9. Uh, for 3 marks in March 12 exam. Construct the circumcircle and in circle. Now here you have to draw both. Of an equilateral x, y, z with the side 6.3. Now drawing the equilateral triangle is very easy. First draw 6.3 base. Then take a 6.3 in compass. Two arcs on the opposite side of the line. Point of intersection is third point. So equilateral triangle is drawn. Now you have to draw the both. Now for three marks drawing both. I think the marks are less but still it was an exam so you have to draw both. So for circumcircle you have to draw two perpendicular bisectors to any two sides and then two angle bisectors for the in circle. Now in such case you may get confused where the center of in circle is where the center of circumcircle is. Now since this is an equilateral triangle both the centers will be same. Okay. So please pause your video here and solve this example or draw the construction. Construct this example. Okay. Don't forget, do not erase the lines. So here you may get confused in the arcs because so many arcs will be there. Correct. Many arcs will be there in this case. So don't be confused in the arcs of the angle bisector and perpendicular bisector. Okay. Just pause your video and solve this. So friends, here we are finishing the exercise 3.1. It was very simple exercise. This exercise or this chapter is totally depend on your accuracy of your drawing. How you draw, how steady your hand is, whether you are lifting while drawing circle, you are lifting your hand or not. All these things matter. Okay, but examples are very simple. So we have finished exercise 3.1. Thank you very much.